push in until you feel the guide and then turn until you feel the blade and then just go straight down. Hello humans. In this video I want to show you a couple of different things. Uh, this brush is the VP Leon Hardy 60840. That's a two band super badger. I'm sorry, two band silver tip. And it's the same handle as 6330, a much cheaper brush, but that one has this rubber band at the top because VP tells me it's cost more labor to get it into the hole without the little rubber thing. Um, I didn't want that rubber thing on there for a nicer brush. Uh, so the two band hairs are very thick on the bottom and they're springy. And in this particular canopy shape, it is a narrow and pointy style that you kind of make a paintbrush stroke with and it has a lot of backbone. And we'll be shaving with the La Savonnerie Bourbonnaise. Uh, this is the eponymous Savon de Rosage, uh, the uh, donkey milk base with the uh, cedar and lemongrass essential oils. Very nice soap. Uh, smells really good. Nice and moist. Okay, so I'm going to use this uh, focus razor that I've used a couple of times and I will try to incorporate some of the tricks that some barbers have told me about. Number one being when you break the razor blade, you don't have to use a nail scissor to break it. You can just fold it into paper and make sure that the little bent part is always facing down. That would be away from the little sliding mechanism. Uh, a lot harder to do me watching this camera and trying to make sure that you can see what the hell I'm talking about uh, when the camera is right up on the mirror. But you see how the ridge is pointing down right there. If you just make sure that ridge is down, uh, it'll go in there every time and it won't be a fight. And uh, that's what the barber told me and it turns out he was right. Uh, the other thing that another barber told me was that you should use this little ridge that you can see right there. And you should use the ridge as the guide because uh, the razor is designed to have the skin rest right on that little ridge that I'm pointing at right here. And you just push into the skin until you feel the ridge and then you turn and keep the ridge making tension on your face while the blade is touching to create a nice uh, acute angle and also to help with the stretching a little bit. Uh, I've used the uh, pre-shave oil, the uh, Osma, because <clears throat> it smells great. And uh, what can I tell you? I will uh, try to speed up the boring parts of the video and the parts where the point of the video, uh, I will try to slow it down. So uh, one great thing about the two bands type of hair uh, being is it's so thick at the bottom, it really takes in the water fast. You, you don't need to soak the two band hair. You can just splash it. Uh, I'm using the soap cake. I'm rubbing directly on my face to get some lather fuel in there real quick. And now we'll start lathering, okay? So later on, when I want to show the tendencies of the brush, and especially when I want to show the rare moments in the camera where I did get the little ridge of the focus shavette uh, onto my skin, then I will slow down the video editing. Uh, God, I've watched this I... thing like five or six times and it still has a little bit of the wet dog smell. Yes, the, the brush. Uh, okay. I've used it maybe four times, but I've put it through some soap several times, and uh, yeah, it's it's still not still not gone with that little stinky smell. But in a way, that just means that the hair wasn't treated at all any more than it had to be not to get you sick. So I suppose I'm happy about that. But as you can see from this slowing down part, the backbone of this brush is awfully good. Now let's enjoy me struggle with the notion of how to show you the head of the focus in the camera for the video. Uh, I talk to myself a lot. I don't think it makes you crazy. Let me think here. I want to... Okay, what if I go like that and I just don't even have a mirror? Two minutes later of mirror thinking and repositioning and need to re a bit.
Okay, this is the first part where I feel like I got a stroke where I nailed that stretcher angle. and The, the whiskers just squeegee right off if you do it. Uh, I really don't have any trouble doing it when I'm not using the camera, but trying to look at the camera screen and the mirror and all that, uh, it does make it a little more difficult. And right there, look at that. I got it really good right there, and everything come off right in one pass. You don't even need to do two passes. And then we do a bunch more strokes where I suck at it. Okay, right there, I got the stretcher laying down. I can actually uh, hear the difference when I'm uh, shaving. Okay, these next three strokes, there, there, and one more on the chin. I do a pretty good job of stretching. Here, my angle is clearly too uh, obtuse. Any of y'all remember being uh, in school and watching the projector screen films in class and people be yelling, focus, focus. Okay, I had my moments here and there where it worked really good. Thank you so much for watching and uh, give me the thumbs up and I'll talk to you next time.